Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you think that red flags only apply to romantic relationships? Well, they can also apply to friendships too. Relationships are special bonds we form with others, and these bonds are models for new relationships and teach us what works and what doesn't. But there may be times when we overlook certain negative aspects because we hope that the relationship will work itself out. If so, you may find it hard to let go of a friend or partner because it means admitting that you made a poor choice in trusting that person. But if a relationship is or has turned toxic, it's best to leave before you end up even more hurt. So here are a few red flags to look out for in any relationship. Number one, they only want you around when they need something from you. Your role in a relationship is not as a therapist or problem solver, and you aren't only there to fix their problems. A friend who only calls you when they need something from you does not consider you a friend, but more like someone who fixes problems. This is a red flag because it unbalances your relationship. They may expect you to shoulder their responsibilities and could hold you accountable for the things that happen in their life. Number two, they isolate you from others. Relationships are not an excuse to be possessive. If a friend or partner begins to demand more time from you, monitors your activities or shows signs of being controlling, then that is a sure sign that you should do your best to make sure the relationship is short-lived. Number three, they never put in the effort. Healthy relationships are reciprocal. If your friend or partner treats the relationship like an emotional support trust fund, it's not a relationship. It's a business transaction that benefits only them. There might be relationships that you wanna preserve because there's a lot of history. And if that's the case, talk to them. Let them know how you're feeling and attempt to create a space where your needs are heard and met. But if they persist and refuse to listen or accept you, maybe it's time to walk away. If you are having difficulty backing away from this relationship, reach out to a therapist. Number four, they're quick to complain about you. No one likes their flaws pointed out to them, except maybe when it involves constructive and educational criticism. But pointing out someone's flaws and trying to make it seem like you're trying to help is shady in a relationship. The people you enter into a relationship with should not be coddling, but accepting and understanding of who you are and what you want to achieve. People who only point out your shortcomings are toxic and mildly abusive. So try to avoid developing a deep relationship with them. Number five, they monopolize the relationship. As said, relationships are not one-way streets. Two people connect through shared thoughts, ideas, and objectives. But when one party begins to monopolize the relationship, it's a sign that they're no longer interested in what the other person brings to the table. If that person chooses to remain in a relationship, they're doing it with the sole purpose of fulfilling their personal needs. Maybe try talking to the person first to let them know how you feel. But if they persist and try to monopolize, then you gotta leave. And number six, they don't treat you like their friend. This last red flag can be a bit subtle, but it includes all the previous points. Relationships, including romantic ones, have a degree of friendship involved. You both should treat each other kindly and care for each other and also be able to trust and be vulnerable with each other. If your friend or partner does not attempt to establish trust or camaraderie, try to talk it through. Both of you should be willing to create trust between each other. But if they're reticent, they've made their position clear and you should consider leaving. You don't need to be in a relationship with someone who does not respect, trust, or accept you. Relationships can seem easy, but can also be unexpectedly difficult to maintain. Can you relate to any of these points? Share with us in the comments. Please like and share this video with others who may benefit from it. And as always, the references used are listed in the description below. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.